Hello and welcome back to visit Falcourt. It's that woman again. It's that woman again and today I'm in Cleveland. I've just been having a meeting with somebody about Christmas lights. It might only be March but we've got to start talking about Christmas lights <laughs> and the crack of dawn. So we start, we start the big trail again for fundraising and all that kind of stuff. So I thought while I'm here we would have a walk through the town centre and a little look at the seafront because of course today is the spring equinox. It's the equinox, isn't it? I always get the equinox and the solstice mixed up. So we've got equal hours today of daylight and darkness. It's stopped raining, which can only be good news. I've got my umbrella in my backpack. Um, so we've got, we've got summer all in front of us, which is lovely to think about. So come with me, we'll go and have a look. We'll go and have a look and see what's to do. And then we will um, go for a walk on the front. So I'm going to go back home for my dinner. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure that you've hit the little bell for notifications. And don't forget to sign up for your Visit File Coast email newsletter. It's visitfilecoast.info slash newsletter. And the link for it is underneath the video. Right, let's go see what we can see, see, see. Ooh, a tram and a, a, tram and a truck all at the same time. So this is the central Cleveland's tram stop. So that one's off on its way to Fleetwood. This is the main tramway line. So Fleetwood's in that direction. And Blackpool is in that direction. And this is new. This is the old HSBC um, bank. It's been shut for quite a while and it's now the ex-discount, ex-catalogue discount shop and it's a bit of a bit of an Aladdin's cave. I've not actually been in yet but it looks absolutely full and that's Goose Coffee over there which is dog friendly and um, that's another new business. We've got loads of new businesses opening. There's a cafe next door to it that's new as well. Um, there's, there's, there's loads of, <laughs> loads of, loads of all kinds of things. We're short of nothing we've got in this town. Um, we've got a lovely jewellers, so there's Clayton's look. They've got some really nice stuff in there and Specsavers. We've got every shop you could wish for. Um, so there's there's quite a lot of quite a lot of all kinds of everything. There's one or two empty shops, but not many. Um, we always have a lower than average occupancy, lower than average vacancy rate in Cleveland, it's not occupancy, that's the wrong way around isn't it? That's Bean's look over there, that's everybody's favourite baker and this Marks and Spencer's food hall is one of their best performing shops, it's known for being, it's known for being a really good, really good one. So Irene's all day breakfast cafe is still closed I think they've gone somewhere down near the Norbrack, if I'm not mistaken. And the, the crochet gang have been out again as well, look. So some of them are, are still waiting to be repaired, but there's quite a few new ones. So you see if you can see if you can spot them. Coffee bar is definitely worth definitely worth a visit. I've just been there for my for my coffee. Well, I had chocolate actually, which was very nice. And I'm just taking you around this corner. Don't forget to get your in bloom raffle tickets from Plush when you when you're visiting. That's a lovely little shop. It smells gorgeous. And I'm just taking you around this corner because we've got activity in Wilco. So this is going to be um, oh now then what did you say? It's not that original factory outlet thing that we thought had been advertising for staff. It's going to be a Ina factory mill, something like that. It's a factory shop. Um, and the, the place is a, a really big, um, bit like Botany Bay used to be. It's not, it's not a name that I know. I've, I've never heard of them. Um, but anyway, it's going to reopen. And I think that will be marvellous. Can't wait to see that. Um, Janet Plush is going to put the new owners in contact with me. So hopefully at some point we might be able to get a 
and look around inside and follow the progress until it opens. Clock garden is looking, is looking rather gorgeous, I have to say, with its nautical theme, all our new plants are starting to grow. And the, the decoration and the woodwork and everything looks lovely, it looks really nice. We've still got some more trimmings to put up. We've got the anchor that somebody donated and that seems, that still needs to go up as well. There you go, have a nice day. This is on the back of there. We'll take a wander through. We'll take a wander through the stalls and have a look and see what everybody's got. I've had loads of nice bits and bobs off them. This is, uh, this is the jeweller, she's waving at me, look. <laughs> So this is Philips and I've got a very good skill at spotting the most expensive things in the window. I'm very good at that. <laughs> and then there's these two which you're going to be taking over by decades. Um, so it's going to be a, a wine bar and then that's going to be a cheese and, and deli type shop. So that's work in progress and they've been blooming look as well. They've got the new the new little pansies out. Shipwreck's another one of our haunts. And they've they've refitted all this outside area, so they've put all this new bench seating in, so there's a lot more space for a lot more people to sit. Yesterday the volunteers were out, so they've been planting the the new bellis plants. They look a little bit tiny at the minute. But give them a, a little bit of sunshine and a few weeks and they'll be, they'll be looking gorgeous. We're all in mourning because Family Bakery is closing at the end of March. So if there's anything you want from there, you need to, you need to come and fill your boots before the end of March. I um, don't know whether... I've not heard that anybody's actually taken it over yet. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. So then on here we've got, on Bispam Road, we've got the glass house. And that has been closed for a little while. The previous owners have retired, but somebody else has got it and is converting it. I've not seen anything yet about exactly what they're going to do. So we'll, uh, we'll keep you posted with that one. And then we get down to Peacock's land. Oh, look, some more, more toppers. They're new. They're new. I've not seen these. Look like they're still trying to dry out a bit. They're Easter eggs, look. Oh, that's good. I like that one. That's an ice cream. <laughs> They're lovely. Mary's Garden's still thriving. Our pots are starting to fill up starting to grow again. We'll be bringing Mary back at some point. So there's there's a bit of everything for everybody in uh, Cleveland. That is, that's a really good shot that, and because it's a new refit, it looks, it looks really nice inside as well. So this is the one that's gonna be made into a market and event space in, in due course. We've not, we've not heard anything yet about any timelines, but it will be really good to actually have somewhere where you can do stuff because most of this, most of this front area actually belongs to the properties from when there were gardens. So round about where this line is between the, the block work and the, um, different paving what's on the other side actually is what used to be their front gardens and that's why they've all got stalls out and things but it does reduce it makes the town centre look really interesting but it does reduce the amount of space that there is to be able to do events or anything like that and because it's always it's always busy anyway it makes it quite difficult that's a new one I like that one it's a octopus. That's good. And what's this one? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> it's a little cutie. 
So it's the Care for Gleevely's volunteers that do them. They make, they make the crochet and the, the knitting and do the, the sort of craft installations. This is our lovely little clock shelter. So that dates back to the 1930s. And that's one of the original features on the seafront. And I noticed this morning they were changing the signage on the New Yorker ice cream parlour. Olympia is having a bit of a facelift as well. They're changing what used to be the cafe on this front corner into a extension of the amusement. So that'll that'll all look better. They've been doing some tidying up and some painting as well. And now we're going to go over here. Terry's not in residence yet today. It's a bit uh, it's a bit cool and wet for um, ice creams just yet. So this is a multi-use event space, um, commonly known as the plaza, where we do all kinds of different things. You find, you find buskers here and find ukulele network often play when it's nice. Um, we've used it for events and it's, a, it's just a nice space at the end of the, at the end of the seawall. And there's the lovely beach. These are my Balfour Beauty pals that are busy building the groins. So here's the explanation of the groins. The groins, let me go down here and then I can oh, show you properly. So each groin has got a crossover ramp, which is this concrete ski, ski slope that you can see. So the concrete crossover ramp lines up to the rock groin and then the whole thing joins up to the steps. So where there are piles of rock like that one, they are piles of rock, they are not anything finished. So it's all going to tidy up and it's all going to condense into these, into these straight lines and they will enable the beach to lift up and they will be the thing that protects against flooding and, and erosion of this seawall. So that's how that works. It's really lovely now out. I've, um, I've been pottering about long enough and it's dried up. We're on the seafront and the, the sun's shining a bit, I think. The rain, oh, it is, look, the sun's coming out. So that's a nice end to my morning jaunt into Cleveland and then a lovely walk along the seafront back to back to Rabbit Towers. My DJI is having a little bit of a mood at the moment. Um, it's gimbal has gone a bit gimbled. <laughs> so I'm just I'm just recording another film about the beach works and the sea defences. So if you're interested in that, I'm also going to pop to Fleetwood this afternoon and have a see what they're doing down there. So I hope you've enjoyed this little look around today in Cleveland. Don't forget to make sure that you've subscribed, make sure that you've hit the little bell for notifications and don't forget to sign up for your Visit File Coast email newsletter. And then you'll get all the latest updates straight into your inbox. So we'll see you soon from Cleveland. Bye for now. <laughs>